sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, very cool. You can do a little Sean Hannity uh, imitation. Later. Exactly. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I'll throw this at somebody if I don't think they're listening. I'm going to need more. Um, <laughs> That's very cool. Well, welcome, Mike. Good to have you here. And uh, I, I had a few of those toys. I remember those. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, speaking of uh, your younger days, uh, I'm, I'm noticing a little uh, uh, accent. I'm guessing either uh, Canada or Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Christ. No, I give, I give the, usually that word gives it away too. Yeah, Minnesota. Christ. Minnesota. Yeah, way up north there, don't you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of us down here. Yeah, there are. Yeah, Did yeah. you bring a hot dish? That, you, you know Minnesota, don't I you? Do know, you do. I don't even know what a hot dish is, but boy, don't go to Minnesota <laughs> without one. Uh, actually, wasn't Mrs. Claus a hot dish? Wow. Really? <laughs> now that you she, think about it. Well, I, um, do, well, do we'll yeah, you're now, not on that good list now. No, I tell you I, she's all. gone. Oh, she's, yeah. uh, she's gone. I can talk about her. Santa hears all. Oh, she, yeah, that's, that's kind of creepy, isn't it? <laughs> Santa knows what you've been doing. That was kind of weirded me out. Well, tell us a little bit about the Fiesta Bowl. Now, I know out of force of habit, I used to call it the Tostitas Fiesta Bowl. Can't call it that anymore. Well, 19 years worth, so I, you know, I, I forgive you for maybe thinking of the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, but uh, um, a lot of things changed. You know, the whole college football landscape, and there's, there's a new system this year. Playoffs are here. Yes. That's really the big change. And along with the playoffs came a little bit of uh, changes on the... Uh, media rights and things, and uh, it just wasn't for Tostitos going forward, but Vizio. Vizio? Vizio Fiesta Bowl this That's year. Awesome. So, so we've yeah. gone from snack chips to what you actually watch the Fiesta Bowl big on, TVs, the TVs. Big TVs, yeah. So we're looking forward to that great partner. So. That's awesome. Little, big change there, but uh, yeah. Now, is that a, that's not really dictated by you folks, is it? That's a... Yeah, that's an ESPN. Yeah, I think it's part of the, the, this whole new world. You know, there's six elite bowls that we are a part of, you know, for the uh, New Year's uh, six, is what we like to call ourselves. Um, ESPN bought those rights, billions. They paid billions, and they oh, own those true. those media rights. And so they uh, they, uh, they acquired Vizio, and you know we're gonna we're gonna host them. And that's great. Now, how long have you been with the Fiesta Bowl? I think we're almost at seven months. No, I mean, you you personally seven months. Seven months, yeah. Well, I, and yeah. I know your background. It's interesting. You you come from a, a hockey uh, background. You used to be with the Coyotes. What did you do exactly. there? Exactly. Well, I come from a hockey state, of course. You come uh, from Minnesota, yeah. sure. Yeah, I uh, I was I've been done with the uh, Coyotes for about, I was about eight or nine years with the Coyotes. Came down here and uh, recently just came over and changed over to football. And have been accused many times. Okay, what do you know about football? But uh, actually, my background being from hockey town, you know, a, a state like uh, Minnesota, I didn't play hockey. In fact, I hardly know how to skate. So I kind of well, hid under the radar there for a while, all those years in that's hockey. Right, he had to, to leave, but they <laughs> yeah. actually found that out and threw him out of the state. Yeah. Uh, but I did, I did play and coach football for many years, so I'm a little bit more comfortable in, in the football arena anyway. Oh, very cool. Where'd you play yeah. football? Well, ultimately, well, through high school and whatnot, but my origins, I guess, were a small little town that I grew up in in Blooming Prairie. Minnesota, which uh, well, we all know yeah. where Blooming Prairie, Minnesota is. That metropolis, we? yeah, the 1,800 people that uh, oh, call that, really? that their home. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. a small place. An interesting little nickname there. Their football nickname is Blossoms. The Blossoms, sure. The Blossoms, yeah, the that, awesome Blossoms. I think they're. they're I mean, no, that's, I I not, that's, a, that's an appetizer at Chili. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. Uh, well, that is. But, uh, uh, well, that is cool. So, yeah. uh, 1,800 people in Bloom. What was it called? Blooming Prairie. Blooming Prairie. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, but I, I found myself to the found my way to the the Twin Cities and actually graduated and played football up uh, in the city. Oh, so. very cool. And you went to the University of Minnesota. University of Minnesota. So I'm a Gopher. And you, and I went to Mizzou, and we're playing each other. We do. We have on a, New Year's Day. Here we are. Yeah, yeah. So in the uh, Citrus Citrus, the Citrus Bowl, Bowl in Florida. I have no. Yeah. I can't keep track of all the bowls. But yeah. uh, we'll, we'll have to create a friendly little wager on that. 39 bowls, by the way. None finer than the Fiesta Bowl. You know what? I, yeah. I'm, now, yeah. this is totally unsolicited. You've already, you're already here. I'm not, yeah. <laughs> I'm not, sh I'm not schmoozing you. Uh, I know a lot of people that are involved in, in collegiate athletics that talk about bowls, and they all say to a man that the Fiesta Bowl is the best run, most um, professionally, and just... If every bowl ran like the Fiesta Bowl, it would be uh, a better system. Well, thank you for the commercial. And uh, I haven't been there long enough, so I, I feel comfortable taking credit on behalf of the, <laughs> the people before me. That, that absolutely. And I, I found that out. You know, getting into this business and traveling around and talking to some, you know, former players or athletic directors and, and people that had played here. And, and uh, absolutely, we hear that all the time about that. It's, we're known for our hospitality. 
and uh, second to none. And so I thank you for the commercial, but uh, you know, there's a lot of hard work and a lot of volunteers. There's a lot of these yellow jackets that are out there every year that are putting on a lot, of, you know, putting in a lot of hours and a lot of work to uh, to make that happen. And the, the hospitality comes from the people. Well, the first comment I got here is from I knew I knew he would comment. It says go Broncos, and I don't think he means Denver. I don't think so. We have Boise State coming. Uh, they, they've been here before, but they're they coming back, and uh, they're going to be taking on a, a home state team here. University of Arizona will be playing uh, in the Fiesta Bowl this year. So and it's been many years uh, since we've had a home state uh, team. So we're, we're so where's our where's our uh, Boise State fan? We have one. Oh, we have. Oh, a couple. we got a couple. There's, there's a few of them out there. Where are U of A fans? Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, how many people are upset at the U of A for beating ASU? Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. there you go. Uh, well, I think, uh, boy, that's going to be a good game. I don't yeah, know if Boise boy. State can play on a green field. That might be odd for them. Yeah, they like that blue, don't they? Yeah, they yeah, like that smurf turf yeah. that you play on up there. Uh, here's the next so, question. Yeah. Um, why the decision to move the Fiesta Bowl from January 1st? Well, that, that's a broader question, I think, with, again, the new, the new system, ESPN, the new college football playoff. There's, there's six of us now that will be hosting games, uh, you know, the, the top games, and they, didn't, they couldn't put all six games into one day. So uh, we will be switching from the 31st to the 1st. So we will see the Fiesta Bowl being played on both the 31st and 1st. This year it will be the 31st, though. Okay. But that, that's kind of a, a global decision from the college football group. Sure. Well, I know you have yeah. a big... Uh, um, Athletic background, and you're still active. I understand you uh, you run marathons. What's going on there? I, I try to stay fit. Uh, you know, I think I, I've, I've pounded some miles in there. I don't I don't do too many marathons in the last few years, but I I've, I talked up a few of them. Yourself? Yeah. I uh, I uh, ran marathons for ten years. I actually ran a marathon <laughs> that took me ten years. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and I never finished. But I, that's a goal. Uh, well, that's cool. I uh, come from the Coyotes. What did you do for the Coyotes? What was your? I was the president and chief operating officer for the for a few years there, and uh, oh, that's awesome. through some interesting times. If you follow the uh, the saga of the, of the Coyotes, but, sure. Yeah, that's... Train me well for some of the transition things that we're going through in the whole college football uh, program here. Well, it all boiled down to economics with the Coyotes. And yeah. speaking of which, what's the economic impact of the Fiesta Bowl? And and before we talk about that. Yeah. Um, I'm interrupting myself. <laughs> um, it's not just a Fiesta Bowl. We have another bowl game, too, that you yeah, guys are... Uh, the, the Cactus Bowl. Ticket City Cactus Bowl. It's our sponsor is Ticket City this year. That's a new sponsor as well. And Cactus Bowl, which is played in Tempe. And that's going to be played on January 2nd this year. And the teams are? And that's a, a new uh, tradition that we're starting here with the Pac-12 and Big 12. So you're going to be seeing Washington University will be coming down, and they're going to be playing Oklahoma State. And so that'll be on January 2nd. Oh, that's great. So I'm excited about that one. And those are two... Uh, Two teams that ought to travel well. They ought to bring a lot because there's a lot we're, of people up in we're there. We're hoping, yeah. That, that's part of what we do, and you know, it really, the, the, that's what we're here for as, as a bull. I mean, so we host and we're known for hosting, but part of it is the economic impact that we're trying to drive. You know, we we are a community-based organization, and our whole intent here is to bring, you know, th you know, create memories and do a lot of things. But uh, we're a charity ourselves and uh, a nonprofit, and and we take in the money, and we we certainly have these major events that we're putting on and put on great events to raise money. But at the end of the day, our, our whole goal is to give this back to the community. And you know, we're on a pace. We're about a million dollar a year uh, you know, giving back directly to nonprofits uh, throughout Arizona here. So at the end of the day, that's, that's what it's about. And we're sure. excited about that. And, and economically, in, you know, in addition to the, just the direct giving, we're, you know, I think last five years, about a billion with a B that we've uh, uh, been impacted the, the valley here. So it's a wow. big impact, big that's impact. That's huge. That's huge. And those, those Boise State fans have helped. They've been down here a couple of times, and they like to travel. So we're, we're welcoming them back. Well, you know, I can't remember what year it was, but I was out doing something at the uh, Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, and it was, I think it was Boise State and Iowa State. Did they play? I, anyway, yeah. they, they flew into that airport, and whole, it was just packed with all those fans. And, right, you know, you, right. you just think about it. They're all showing up with a lot of money that they're going to leave behind, and that's what these folks, these, these uh, business people here yeah. in the audience care about. So... Uh, and then it's great to know that all the money that you guys raise, you, uh, you do, you know, make a lot of people's lives better through the, through the charitable work. Any idea Thank how much money over the years that we've, we've given back? That would have been a good question for me to... Millions. Let's yeah, say millions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're on a pace of, what, a million a year. And I'd like to double that soon and, and, and try to, you know, that, that's really what I'm, my goal here. I'm about seven months into, into this job, and I think we want to continue putting on great events and, and hosting people and having uh, people uh, want to come back 
uh, and, and visit us here in, in Arizona and, and hopefully uh, retain more of that money and give it away. Well, here's a question. I'm not sure that you can pull this off, but it said, can you replace U of A with ASU? <laughs> I'm guessing that can't happen. That was a, that was a good question, though. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, uh, wow, who's going to win the game? You got a prediction on, uh, on the Fiesta Bowl? Oh, nah, that's a tough one. That's, can I give uh, you a little hint? Yeah, it might. Yeah, just play yeah, that down the better, middle. Better, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, the that, team that, with the most I think points. we're going to have an overtime. We're going to have an overtime. Yeah, okay, there you go. Uh, what other events and activities are associated with the Fiesta Bowl? Perfect question because you know we're certainly known for for football and and two games that we host here. But um, we have a, a couple of other great events. We you know, had our, our a whole a million uh, dollar hole in one contest that we have every fall, uh, sponsored by Wells Fargo, and they've been a great partner of ours. And that's a great event every year. That that uh, in October you'll be looking for that. We have the parade coming up, and the parade's at 27th this year, Saturday, uh, like 11 o'clock. Uh, we start that off, and that's that's a long standing tradition and a, and a great event for the community here. And that kind of starts off really the a lot of events if you think about it you know in, in the community here besides our games there's a lot of a lot of things that are happening in january especially this year oh. you have pro bowl and super bowl and of course the auction and the, the golf in january so yeah a little golf we, we were kind of kicking it off maybe like we like to say with the uh, the parade but we have the parade and then in, and we get into february and we have an aerospace challenge which is a kind of a middle uh, school age uh, uh program for uh, kids to show uh, to show their stuff and, and come up with a uh, uh, projects and that—that's a Honeywell-sponsored event. That, that's an, another uh, great event that we have. So, well, a lot, a lot of events besides just football. Well, that's great. Great question. And here's uh, boy, this is great, and they're they're represented here today. It says you guys recently donated a large amount of money to Mesa's own Oakwood Creative Care. And uh, yes, yeah. yeah, there we go, Oakwood. Yeah, that nice. So that's a that's a great organization yeah. they do great things and boy thanks for the thanks for the bucks that was great it was great to meet uh, them personally here today yeah exactly we we had just gone through another one of our uh our uh, grant cycles, and so I think uh, this cycle of four hundred thousand uh, dollars of in grants, and so and we do that uh, you know more than once a year, so that's how we we uh, again we love to give back. That's great. Here's a question. I think this is a typo. I'm hoping this is a typo. It said, "How would someone go about advertising at a bowel?" <laughs> I, I think they meant bowl. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, let's let's go with the bowl here. <laughs> you can contact us. Absolutely, we'd love to be able to. You know, that, that's part of uh, our besides selling tickets. You know, we 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 gather and, and, and sell sponsorships and want to promote uh, both the games that way. So you can uh, um, con well call us uh, directly four eight zero three five zero zero nine one one, and we'll help you out. That's awesome. Sell you some tickets and what's a, get you in, in contact with whoever you need. What's the best uh, website uh, to drive people to? Fiestabowl.org. Boy, pretty simple yeah. to remember. Fiestabowl.org. And uh, you can you find your way and navigate through our, our website there, and we can help you, again, tickets and, and direct you to wherever you'd like to go. Well, that's awesome. Well, um, I, oh, here we go. Here, how can, purchase, how, how can people purchase tickets to the games? Okay. Or, uh, Fiestabowl.org and or the 480 Three five zero zero nine one one. Are there tickets available for both games? Tickets available. They're going pretty quick here. Uh, yeah. You know, with Boise State and then uh, Arizona, of course, uh, we do have uh, a couple thousand left. So uh, you know, get get those quickly here. But they're going well, and the Cactus Bowl as well. There's some tickets. That's the great thing about the Valley. Not that many people are from here originally, so there's there's fan base. Sure. Uh, you, na yeah. you name a uh, team in the country, and there's a fan base somewhere here yeah. in, in in the Valley. In, in football, is what a great sport, you know. So you're you're gonna get your money's worth uh, for the ticket, but at the end of the day, that ticket and, and the net value of that, we're gonna you know put that back into the economy here. What do you think about the? Uh, this is off the off the Fiesta Bowl radar. What do you think about the playoff system? Are you excited about it? Is do you think it it's is? You know, I, I think in general the. the the, the country was asking for those playoffs, you know, many years of it, and, and here it is, and, and we'll see. Of course, there's already some scuttle about, okay, there's it's a four-team playoff <laughs> system, or why don't we have uh, six, or why don't we have eight, and so I don't think you're ever going to make anybody no, happy. If you had always, eight, there's always going to be that nth yeah. team that didn't get in, and yeah. but I think we'll, we'll see. But uh, the excitement is there, and uh, if you paid attention on, on this Sunday was the selection Sunday, and that was a heck of a buzz, uh, you know, across the whole nation on, you know, who was going to be that final selection, and you know, who, who are the rankings came in, and uh, um, it was it was pretty exciting. Yeah, I think it's been uh, it's definitely created buzz and, and people talking about it, and that's yeah. that's half the deal. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's absolutely. cool. Well, I'd like to thank you for. Uh, I know you're super busy. Uh, how many We're, days till the bowl? Let's see. What, we're well, down to we about got, oh, I mean, what was, uh, we 19. 19 days, yeah, 31st. Wow. Yeah, so, so there you go. And the second. So, so you got a lot, lot to do. I appreciate you carving out a couple hours to come in here. My and as pleasure, a thank Mark. you, 
we would like to uh, give you this on behalf of our uh, great sponsor, Cobblestone Auto Spa. Um, it's a hundred dollar detailing gift card to go to any cobblestone in the valley and have oh, your. Wonderful. Do you have a car? I do have a car. Did you? I thought maybe you saw me pull in and you. Well, <laughs> that's why we're giving you this. It's, you're actually making the uh, Crescent Crown look bad. So if you could clean that up. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know coming from Blooming. Blooming Prairie. I thought maybe you had a. Yeah. One of those old metal tractors out there. <laughs> I did have one of those. Uh, I think it was a John Deere, but uh, I did have one. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we thank you so much for. Oh, thank you. Uh, and and thank thanks you. on behalf of the whole valley. I'm going to speak for. I'm, I'm going to speak for them. Thanks for everything that you guys do to raise a bunch of money and give it to, to needy people. We really appreciate oh. that. Well, well, thank you and thank the valley because we've had great support over the years, and, and I know that it'll continue. So thank thank all of you. And you gave um, you brought these in. I feel like I should. Uh, we should do something cool with these. Maybe you should throw them. I, I should throw one. I'm trying to think of. Uh... I know you brought a couple of footballs for the for the kids. Here, oh, you so did. Yeah. Oh, so you said you brought they... a couple of footballs, and I thought this well, was I got, it. No, I got the, we got a couple of bigger ones down here. All right, the, the well, actual cool. uh, size. Because I felt uh... like Gulliver holding this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Dave wanting me to throw it back there. I blow out my rotator cuff if I do that. <laughs> here, you're the athlete. Throw one back to Big Dave back yeah, there. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it like a soccer player. What do you got? Uh, yeah, there right you here. go. That's a little tough with. Oh. 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 He would have caught it, but he's got a handful of bacon grease. <laughs> I've seen him back there. He's chowing down like he's eating bacon like, bacon like it's going into a wood chipper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I didn't mean to hit you in the hands there. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to so, throw another one. That was awesome. Give him, back there. Give, him another, give him another try, or are we going somewhere else here? Yeah, throw one that way. You got Bob or throw, here? Throw oh, one we... to the chiropractor in the back. Oh, here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. All right. There you go. Well, there yeah. you go. They can catch that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, thank you. If you could hang around and maybe teach Dave how to catch a football, that would be great. You're making him fix that. that well, Mike, be... ladies and gentlemen, have a big yeah. round of applause. Mr. Mike Neely, yeah. executive director. You can hang out here for a minute again. Yeah, absolutely.